The containment event will be the second narrative event of Season 4 in Halo Infinite, and in today's video I'm going to be going over the 10 free cosmetics you can expect to earn. Anyway, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here, as I really do appreciate it and it really does help the channel out. Now without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Now first things first, obviously this is a narrative event, however it does look like none of the narrative events will have cutscenes this season, this isn't new information, no one should really be surprised by this, it was confirmed before the season had even launched. That being said, it is still disappointing regardless, but let's move on. The first item in this event is the Dangerous Bonds Weapon Charm, which mirrors the weapon charm that you get in the current Hazmat event. In fact, the style of items that you unlock is basically the same at each tier as it was in Hazmat. I do like this level of consistency, so I just wanted to mention that that was a nice thing to see. But anyway, at tier 2, you get the Quick Flush Utility Piece, which is a nice little piece of utility for the Hazmat Core. At tier 3, you get an Armor Coating, this being the Mesa Inclined Armor Coating. And it looks fine from its preview image, I am curious to see how it will actually look on my Spartan. Tier 4 grants you the Ecotech Sampler chest piece, which is a very bulky looking chest piece. I'm actually looking forward to this one. Tier 5 earns you the Ogun Helmet, and this definitely looks like a spawn with a receding hairline. Tier 6 grants you the Mouth Gleam Visor. There is a large chance I've pronounced that wrong, but this is another pinkish purplish visor, which is very weird considering it's, it's, it's very similar to the one that you get in the Hazmat event, other than the fact that the pattern is quite different. Tier 7, you get the Lumen Pro Light Helmet Attachment, which I do prefer more than the current one in the Hazmat event. Tier 8 and 9 give you the Fan Vent Shoulder Pads, which again, I actually like how these look. From the preview image here, they are currently some of my preferred shoulders for Hazmat. And at Tier 10, you get the First Response Stance, which is another pretty cool stance. For players that want a spawn that kind of looks like a medic, this will definitely be a good stance to help sell that look. But anyway, that sums up the 10 free cosmetic items. As a whole, it's not terrible, there are some cool pieces for hazmat, but this only really appeals to the players that use the hazmat core. Obviously, you do have things like the visor and stance, which most people will probably want to earn anyway, if you just like the colour of the visor, or you like the way the stance makes your spawn look. But the armour pieces really do only appeal if you like that core anyway. I don't know if there'll be any updates or playlists tied to this one like there was with hazmat. I don't think there'll be any sort of forge map coming out, I think. The Plaza Remake Solitude is the only other map we should expect this season. However, if I'm wrong, I'll gladly be wrong. But the event doesn't arrive until 29th of August, so there's still plenty of time to wait. Anyway, let me know if you're excited for this event down in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.